All right, so we've got the recording rolling. There we go, a little bit bigger presenter screen. So let's get started, everyone. We've got another person that joined us. Thank you so much for being with us here on our first Merry Mindfulness Wednesday at 10 a.m. virtual um, stretching, meditative, and moving break. So we're going to incorporate a few different things today. Um, today is Wednesday, November 4th, and we'll be doing this through the holiday season, likely into next year as well, uh, kind of reverting, transitioning back to our Wellness Wednesday virtual um, class series and just give it a, a cute um, holiday twist for Merry Mindfulness. So um, if you're joining us, please make sure that your mics are muted and that you have a comfy spot. I'm going to be seated today. Uh, I've got a nice open floor space here in the office and I'm kind of on one of those cushioned yoga mats. Um, you can be standing or sitting in a chair if you prefer, um, but again, this is kind of just my my setup for today. So. Wherever you are, seated or standing, let's find a grounded, strong position. I have my sit bones planted firmly in the ground, my legs crossed, eyes closed, hands relaxed. And let's find our breath here. But as we breathe, let's scan our body for areas of tension, tightness, discomforts. And with your next inhale, let's open our eyes if you are seated like I am. I'm going to stretch my feet out directly in front of me. And what I can do so that maybe you can see is I'll go off to the side like this. There we go. That's good. So I have my feet stretched out. You can kind of see my toes over here. Let's bring those toes straight up and try to pull them back towards you as much as possible. And as we stretch here, my legs are really tight, so this is a great stretch for me. I feel this in my calves and my hamstrings, kind of in my quads too. But as we stretch here, actively engaging, pulling our toes back towards us as much as we can, keep our, our back nice and straight, nice and flat. Really pulling our belly button in, keeping our core nice and strong and engaged. Taking full breaths here. And with your last exhale, let's go ahead and release. You can kind of um, roll those ankles back out. I'm really starting to kind of get a nice burn there and some, um, some heat brought into my calves from that stretch. So if you start to feel warm during this stretch, that means that you're doing it right. You're warming up those muscles. That's why we recommend doing it before and after exercise. But almost more importantly beforehand so that um, we can prevent and reduce injury. So let's bring one leg now over, one foot over our thigh. We're going to kind of start since we're sitting, we're going to start with um, our lower half, our legs, work our way up to our core and upper body. So um, if you've been joining me for the last virtual Friday stretching classes, some of those were standing. Usually we would start from our head, arms work our way down. We're kind of changing things up today. So hope you enjoy it. I've got my right foot crossed over my left thigh. Hugging in here with this knee. And I'm just going to turn gently to my right. So to whatever side that you are hugging your knee in, you have my right foot crossed over my left thigh, right knee pulling in, twisting to my right. As with anything, we listen to our body and stretch to our range of motion limits. 
not beyond it. And hold here. If you would like to deepen the stretch, you can put one hand behind and kind of straighten out that arm, push off your knee and twist a bit deeper. You might feel this down through your core. This is also a nice core stretch. And your obliques, your intercostal muscles. Exhale, come back to center. I'm going to kind of rotate so you can see the other side. Left foot for me, now over my right thigh. Just do the opposite of what you did if you don't have to match me. I'm hugging this thigh and I'm just going to twist gently. And I think for this side, I am going to deepen my stretch a bit more. So I'm going to put my hand on the floor and kind of use this arm to push push off that um, the, the leg, the thigh that's pulled up here. Feel this nice stretch in my, my core, kind of lower oblique area. You know, I kind of feel this in my low back today, too. That sciatic, that piriformis. We'll get to stretching him in a bit. Exhale back to center. Very good. I'm really warm, you guys. I had the heater, the space heater on in our office when I got in earlier this morning. <laughs> and I'm like sweating right now. So sorry, excuse me. All right, let's come back to our starting um, stance where we had our legs out flat in front. Let's just do a really gentle front fold here. So we've done this standing in the past before. Um, I have my feet kind of out shoulder distance apart in front of me. Um, toes are up, but they're not actively being pulled up and back like they were earlier. Um, they're kind of just relaxed in an upward um, position. I'm going to slowly inch my way forward with my hands, kind of just working my way down my calves. I kind of come to rest around my ankles. I can't quite touch my toes. <laughs> Don't judge me. If you can, that's great. And if not, hey, you're in good company. So again, we kind of explore our body's range of motion, limitation. We stretch to that and not beyond it. And this is a different variation of what we did in the beginning because we're incorporating our low back now. And if we reach to one side, so I have both of my hands now over to my right ankle. We should feel this in the opposite side of our low back. So I feel this in the left lower back side, which is great. That's where I need it. I've got some sciatic uh, piriformis stiffness this morning. <sighs> Exhale, going over to our left. or opposite side of where you started. Now I'm reaching to my left, I feel this in my right lower back. Remembering to breathe, that's always important. Probably tired of hearing me say it if you've been a regular in our Friday classes, but it is important, so I'm gonna to continue to remind. Find that breath coming back up to center. So now check the time, oh, we're good, we are so good. I'm gonna come back to a kind of relaxed cross-legged position. You, if you're seated, you can sit however you would like or keep your legs out, doesn't matter. Do what's comfortable. We're gonna focus on some belly breathing now and then go up to our arms, neck and shoulders and then we'll wrap up. So to engage active belly breathing, remember what you we were doing in the beginning of class, drawing our belly button back as if you're pulling it in towards your spine, towards your back. When you exhale, really engage your core. Pull that belly button in. Squeeze out all the air in your lungs and then nice full inhale. Really expanding our chest cavity, filling our lungs. And let's just do that a few more times. Exhaling, drawing our belly button in at the center. Inhale. 
expand. And I will try to do this. It's hard while I'm talking. But on our next inhale, let's hold it for four, four counts. So draw in a nice deep breath here. And exhale. Let's pause here. Two, three. And inhale on four. This is a really great exercise, kind of four in, four out, to, to count when we're trying to um, lower our heart rate, maybe lower our blood pressure. <laughs> if we are anxious, nervous, frustrated, there's a stressor, eventful um, at work, at home, anywhere in between, in traffic. <laughs> Find that breath, do some deep breathing, count to four, and hopefully that helps. Let's go up now to our shoulders. So I'd like to start by drawing another deep inhale in here. As we do that, let's bring our arms up and right away interlock those fingers and push out in front. Let's hold here for a moment. Our next inhale, using that breath to transition, reach behind, interlock the fingers again, and exhale. Continue breathing here, but as you interlock your fingers, or if that's uncomfortable, just simply grab um, your hand or your arm uh, with the other and pull down and away. We want to kind of elongate and stretch expanding the distance between our shoulders and our ears, really focusing on that neck and upper shoulder area. And as we do this, let's begin to slowly lower our chin down. Again, go as far as it's comfortable, but still engaging in a stretch. You should feel this, the back of your neck, and shoulders. Inhale up, chin to the ceiling. Exhale, let's come back to neutral. Hands are on um, my lap now. We're going to go side to side, and then we're going to wrap up with um, our breath at the end. So let's go left ear or right, wherever you want to start. Ear down to shoulder. And I don't really think it's possible, maybe, but definitely not for me, possible <laughs> to touch my ear to my shoulder. So kind of metaphorically, ear to shoulder stretch. Feel that, up, of course, in the opposite side of your neck here. Inhale, let's use that breath, lift our head back up to neutral. Exhale, other side. Oh my goodness, my back just kind of snap, crackle, popped. I think that's a good thing. I didn't do it on purpose, so. Must be waking up my body here, that's good. Let's come back to neutral. Last week on our Friday class, we did a brief um, hand finger stretch that we ended with. I think that was really popular, so I'm going to do that real quickly now. How we can do this, and this is where I'll, I'll leave off today, and I'll leave you with this to practice maybe throughout the rest of the day or the week, is we put one of our palms out in front, hands like this, palm up, and we take our other, just like your index finger from your other hand, and kind of isolate these three fingers, okay? Um, we're gonna isolate our index finger, just hold these three back from following it while we try to touch that index finger to our palm. Again, kind of a metaphorical, I've never actually been able to touch my, my fingertip to my palm here, but in doing so, I feel a really deep stretch all the way from that finger joint down through 
my forearm. And I think this is a great stretch. If we spend a lot of time like this with our hands up and typing, um, we're really opening up the palm, the forearm, that finger uh, joint area, to getting a good stretch here. And so we just go right down the line. So now I isolate my middle finger while keeping these other three isolated, preventing them from kind of like naturally curling up and following it. Go right down the line, isolate your ring finger. You might notice that depending upon your hand and the finger, one might get a little bit closer to touching your palm than the others. Actually, this is pretty darn close. Same thing with our pinky. And I kind of joked on our last week's, um, our final Friday virtual class that I don't know of a good way to stretch our thumb doing this. So if anyone does, let me know. Be happy to feature it. Same thing, other hand. And as we wrap up here, you know, same thing, work our way down, down the four fingers on our other hand. Think about maybe what you would like featured on our future classes. So we might do more meditation, more guided imagery, um, body relaxation scanning is a whole class session in itself. If there are areas that you would like stretches featured for, questions that you would like answered, requests that you have, please let us know. I'm all done with that hand stretch now. Um, let's find our breath here for three final counts. It's just a nice way to end, eyes closed. And after your last exhale, you may open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed our first Wellness Wednesday virtual stretching class. And we hope to see you back here next week. Thank you.